And new for you at noon, a major meeting for Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava. She met today with recently released Nicaraguan political prisoners and Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live with how the mayor is showing support to them and their families. Christina. And the plight of these political prisoners, their storyline, their backstory may certainly resonate with a lot of families in our community. Some of the people you're going to see at this news conference that was held this morning, once we get to that video, they were explaining are people who were in a prison in Nicaragua just last week. That includes a mom of three that I spoke to. And she is a house mom. She has three sons in college. And she says that she was arrested and put in jail. She served 15 months and three days. She's very specific down to the day of which she served. And the reason why she said is because she expressed some criticism of the government. In fact, the Human Rights Watch 2023 World Report about Nicaragua says that the current administration has deepened its systemic repression against critics, journalists, and human rights defenders. Dozens of people arbitrarily detained remain behind bars. Who we have here are political prisoners in the, that were in Nicaragua that were released and also sent to the U.S. There was some arrangement with the administration, with the Biden administration, to receive them here in the U.S. From my understanding, um, right now they have a temporary two-year parole which gives them authorization to apply for employment authorization. Um, and obviously they're going to have to legalize their status more than likely by applying for asylum. And that's where you come in. So there's actually a call to action as part of this news conference this morning. These political prisoners, they are also seeking sponsors for them. We have more on that, the process, and how to sign up on our website. That's local10.com. Reporting live for you today from Miami, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. All right, Christina, thank you. So